going on? We are up here in Ontario. I had a coconut um, with Canoe Canada Outfitters. And we are today looking for some smallmouth. Lynn here uh, works for those folks and he guides for them and he consented to fish with Kins and I today. And we're looking to catch a few smallmouth and then we're gonna go into a walleye lake and just wreak havoc on them. McKinsey has been on a lot of fishing trips with me before, but we've never fished for smallmouth together. You gonna to throw a topwater, Lynn? I'm probably gonna just let you go actually fairly quick through here with your trolling motor and just do some loops here. And one of us can troll uh, the jig behind and a couple of us cast. Pound for pound, I consider smallmouth bass the hardest fighting freshwater fish you can have on the end of your line. So today, daughter McKinsey's in for a real treat. I'm going to cast with one of these in a really long time. You drag your thumb. Oh, well, see, you don't even drag your thumb across it, huh? But you see what the bait does. Looks like a frog jumping. So you just jig down and you reel at the same time. What happens if you just let it sit there? Does it float? Ooh, fish hit it. Really? Yep. Oh, oh. There you go. You want me to go for it? Yeah, it's, it's your fish. I was just showing you how to fish your top popper there. Oh, look at that <laughs> little guy jump. Now, there's nothing too small about that one, kid. Yeah, that's your first topwater smallmouth, isn't it? Yes. He's not such a little guy. Can I just pick him up with this or should I grab the line? Probably grab the line, huh? Let's see. Bottom of his mouth. It wasn't even in his mouth. Yeah, he missed it the first time. Is that big for a smallmouth? It's fat, I'll tell no. you that. Just a little piggy. Daddy. First morning, we were to go out, bad cold front come through. Bad thunderstorms. Well, come on, wind. Strong winds, heavy rain. The fish shut down. We had to really work the first morning out there. The weather slowly got better, and the fishing got better. He's got it. That's a nice fish. Very nice fish. That's what we should have a couple of dozen of, okay. kids. You want me to get the net for you? Sure. <laughs> Good job. Look how red his eyes are. Mm-hmm. He's a small mouth. You got the net with you, huh? If you look at him yeah. real close, he'll be growling at you too when you lip him. Oh, really? Little red eyes just a gleaming. Just leave me alone. Nice fish. That's Very a little nice. better, huh? Yeah. Nice fatty. Good job, man. Back now on a remote drive to lake near Atacokan, Ontario, where Canoe Canada Outfitters guide Lyndon Haney, my daughter Mackenzie, or Bucky as I sometimes call her, and I are looking to score on some big smallmouth bass. I don't know what this is, but boy, he sure hit it. Be a smallmouth. We're presenting a combination of lures to try and trigger their predatorial instinct to strike. Cooked on the side of him. But it's a smallmouth and he hit that great big popper. Canoe Canada Outfitters is a family business that my father, Bud Dixon, started in 1974 as a canoe outfitter specializing in wilderness canoe trips into Quetico Provincial Park and the White Otter Wilderness area. We uh, do offer a few drive-in cabin locations where guests can bring up their own rigging, their own boats and motors, uh, but the vast majority of our trips occur up at remote fly-in locations and we can't strap your big 18-footer to the side of our planes. Active fish like to feed in areas that concentrate their prey, making them more vulnerable to attack. Virus is strike. And when you're talking smallmouth, feeding on the surface is a great example. They then expanded into uh, the fly and outpost cabin business. We currently have operate 14 outpost cabins and one American Plan Lodge. Oh. By perfectly imitating wounded prey, topwater baits give you the advantage over smallies on the rise. Oh no. No, there's nothing more exciting than watching a fish absolutely explode on your bait, which is one of the reasons so many people are attracted to bass fishing. The smallmouth like to hit surface baits. The hotter and warmer it is here, the better the topwater action is. Usually all you gotta do is just switch around baits, try a couple different colors, and different sizes, and you're gonna catch fish on topwater, guaranteed. The fishing is just that good. Not only are using topwaters an exciting way to catch smallmouth, but they seem to attract the big bronze backs consistently. That's a smallmouth. 
People come up to Canoe Canada to go after number one primarily big smallmouth bass, big football bass. I might need a net. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't. Uh, uh. Oh, yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! That's a nice one. I'll give you a high five too. Come on, come on. That's yeah. a, that's good job. You feel the love. That's a very nice one. That is oh, it was a... cool though. I stopped. I let it pause for the second, like, you know, like you've been telling me to. And suddenly it just, I don't know, I gave it that quick little jerk again and it went, boom, got it again. Oh, I know. It's pretty awesome. Isn't, isn't, it, isn't it wonderful? It's a very different oh, hit though from this top water. Oh, Extremely I Extremely different. There you go. That's now let me see him. <laughs> oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. Yeah, he is. Good fish. Isn't that the coolest though? When they hit those top waters? Yeah, it's ex very different, but I really like it. Shorelines are the most obvious areas to look for bass holding structure. Bruno, are you homeboy? Points, humps, reefs, submerged boulders, saddles between oh, islands, come on. and narrows also have shallow water that smallmouth love. Boom! That should have produced me a smallmouth. Let me take just a second to show you something here. We're all throwing top waters. I'm throwing a great big popper here, huge one. That, but uh, notice the tip on this little rod. I'm throwing a five and a half foot um, rod, but that's got a tremendous amount of tip action to the thing. It's got strong backbone, but you can see that tip, and that's crucially important. I think when you're working the bait, because you're looking to snap it like so. I want that thing to make about as much noise as I can and still be able to uh, control the fish and fight a big fish if you get them. Now you, a lot of guys might think, well, this is too light of a rod, but I don't think so. There's one. I'm going to work this one. Could be another big bass there. I think that's a big smallmouth. Yep. Good one. Thank you, sir. Would you like to be here with us? Huh? Meet my new friend? You can make friends for yourself? After a couple of days of catching some nice smallies near the town of Atacokan, Ontario, my daughter Mackenzie and I are off to Canoe Canada's Tip Top Wilderness Lodge. Located on Sanford Lake in northwestern Ontario, it's a fly-in lodge located 40 air miles north of Canoe Canada's base in Atacokan. Want to talk about a remote location? You won't find another fishing resort within a thousand square miles, and the closest road is more than 30 miles away. Well, we're at a new lake now that is very, very clear. Got a lot of walleyes in it. Um, some big walleyes, I've been told of wall walleyes over 13 pounds that have come out of here, some big ones. And lake trout, uh, the biggest lake trout so far has been about 54 pounds. Um, and some smallmouth and some big pike. Um, Lynn here caught a 52 inch pike at the lake. So there's an incredible amount of potential and. Buck and I are here trying to make another memory and show you a good place to come fishing. So God willing, the fish are going to bite and we'll be able to do exactly that. Fish? That didn't take too long, Lynn. I thought it was kind of early. I guess not. Nice fish. God, I love it. We've been on this spot four minutes or three minutes. Curious. Yeah. That's a nice walleye. I like this for first fish. Is that a fish? Oh, I got one too. <laughs> oh. oh. Did you set the hook? Well, I thought I did. <laughs> what? No, nothing. I thought I was on a rock for a second. Oh, this is not a rock. Well, no, I said I was. Okay. It hasn't been five minutes yet. Nope. 
And the old man has two. And this is. Uh oh, double header. This is, <laughs> this is where she we put. She just looks over with this look on her face. This is where we put two fish in the net. Beauty again. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. He okay, is. got him. Ready? Right on. Nice. See, that's what I love so much about Ontario and walleye fishing in these Canadian Shield lakes. You come up here, do the right things, and you'll find aggressive walleyes that are usually willing to bite. They're not the finicky, temperamental lockjaw variety found in high-pressured lakes to the south. Now, see, I have a male and you have a female. Well, that's how it's supposed to be, isn't it? In fact, that's why people love to come here, to get their fill of catching walleyes that they normally don't get at home. Oh, there you go. I don't know if that's a fish, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> Did you, that wasn't squat for a hook set. No, well, I thought it was a rock. Just keep the tension on him. Keep your rod high, keep tension on him. There he is. There he is. <laughs> nice oh. fish, kids. Beauty. Good job. Well, thank you. That's four nice, big, fat walleyes in about six or seven minutes. The growing season, short. Forage can be seasonally scarce, and with minimal fishing pressure, there are often more walleyes around competing for food. That means that when they see food or something they think is, they go after it like there it's it no tomorrow. Thank you. That's another nice one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We haven't had anything here that wasn't that. nice. Fish. Ooh. Oh, look at that guy. I bring her out here, <laughs> and what do I get? A meat hog, who did pretty good with the meat. <laughs> well, we've been up fishing at Tip Top less than two hours. I think we've caught about a dozen or 13 or 40, I don't know how many. I at least a dozen. Yeah. Yeah. In, in that period of time. Yeah. And. How they say it at the beginning of a horse race, my God, that's a beautiful start. Must grab a paddle. This is our last day, Kins. We have got to rip some lift. Game on. Game on, I like it. Generally, we have about five lakes here, and you book a four or five day trip. You can be in a different lake every day and never same, fish the same place twice. Better run. Well, there's the start. More better. That was fun. Sure, you got him, huh? I'd have no problem if we catch a 100 or 200. Finally. There, there you go. You ever sat in a spot and just caught walleyes and caught walleyes and caught walleyes? I don't know how many of these I've had in my lifetime, and I love every one. Fish. Now we're into him. This is not King Kong or anything, but he thinks he is. Oh! Double time. Double time, she says. Well, this is perfect. It was your turn anyway. You make a daddy proud. Nice fish. Fish? Good one. Holy buckets. I haven't got her off the bottom yet. Pulling the boat around. Sure is. Just a real hard fighter. Still pretty good. I wonder if you're the bugger that stole that other crawler from me. If you are, <laughs> game's done. If you're not, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs>